Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle Kingsbury and today is going to be a 28, 29, basically a third, welcome to the third trimester update. I am currently pregnant with baby number two. It's a girl and I have a son who is 16 months old. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what we're doing to get ready for her room. And I'm going to share with you about my doctor's appointment and everything that's been going on as we enter the third trimester. Okay, y'all, today we're going to be talking about the third trimester. One of the things is that you're out of breath all the time. And I'm out of breath all the time, so bear with me during this video. I'll try to be, I'll try to slow down my breathing. Joshua's in the other, in my bedroom. That's why I'm filming in my bathroom. So he has a show on and he will be content hopefully for however long I need him to be content. I'm gonna look on my phone for my notes just so I have them in front of me. Here we go. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna tell you guys about what's been going on. My last update was 20 weeks. Okay, so third trimester, here we are, we've made it. Um, this, you're gonna be watching this on a Monday. So, um, Saturday I'll be 30 weeks. So I'll be, on Monday I'll be 29 and two days. So, I'm gonna start with the symptoms and how I've been feeling and how that's changed as I've started entering the third trimester and then I'll go into my doctor's appointment. So, um, things that I have been dealing with lately. Nausea is real lately, just, I don't know. Um, I always heard it could be something that you could experience again in the third trimester. I didn't experience it with Joshua and it's, it's not fun. Acid reflux is the worst. It's so bad y'all, I hate it so much. And um, yeah, I have it almost every day, every time I bend over um, at night when I'm in bed. And it's just like that acid that comes up your throat and you like, it feels like throwing up, but you're not actually throwing up. So it's just awful. Um, I can't really sleep very well. This happened with Joshua too. It's super uncomfortable to sleep when you're pregnant. Um, it's hard to, it's just hard to get comfortable. Some people swear by sleep pillows. I've tried a couple of them. I sleep with a pillow in between my knees. Okay, so back to my symptoms. Um, ben came in. All right, can't get comfortable. Um, oh, there's an Instagram account called In Expecting and Empowered on Instagram. Um, and they are, they sell like workout programs and stuff, but they also just post like really helpful tips in their stories about positioning and about birth and breastfeeding and so many different things. So if you guys are like me and everything's uncomfortable, um, go check them out and they might be able to give you some tips. Um, bending over makes me want to throw up, which I kind of went over in acid reflux, but I hate bending over. It makes me really uncomfortable. I'm out of breath all the time. Tired. This has been real this time and, and I just don't remember it, but like I'm just tired. I have no energy in the day. I'll just realize how tired I am. And it's hard to um, pick up that motivation and, and kick it into gear and it's just tough. Moody, I have I have been a little bit moody, definitely getting annoyed with people. Now that's not like super different than normal because um, I get annoyed easily, but um, I've been getting annoyed easily. Um, my boobs are so sore, you guys. They're so sore. I can't wait till this is, we're done with this part. Uh, my hair has been ridiculously oily. This started 
I guess when I was pregnant with Joshua and it hasn't gotten better except for when we were in Texas for a week. And I wonder if it's something to do with the water, but I just found this girl on Instagram and I started, um, I ordered the products that she recommended. So I will tell you guys if it works. I hope that it does. Um, and then my cravings. I've been just pretty much craving ice water and hold on. I have been craving, I have been craving ice water like crazy, fruit, especially pineapple and like watermelon and just more like comfort foods like carbs. Like I have not been craving meat. I have like, I'm never like, ooh, I really want to eat chicken. Like I will, but that's not what I want. <laughs> so that is, those are the symptoms that I have been experiencing. I did take my measurements um, because I haven't shared them all along. I'm not gonna share them right now. I might share them in my next pregnancy. Um, if I have a next pregnancy, <laughs> we'll see. Um, that's the plan, but um, they, the good news is I took them at 23 weeks and, um, like my arms and my legs and my calves and things like that are all the same. And my thighs are actually like a half an inch smaller and I have been working out now this past like week. I have not because it's been crazy. Um, we've been dealing with a lot of house stuff, a lot of high stress and I've been feeling gross. So I'm going to kick it into gear tomorrow. But um, I had been working out and I um, have been, I mean, we've been working constantly on the house, constantly on um, getting stuff for Delilah's room, etc. cetera. So um, that's the good news. You know, of course, like my belly is bigger. Of course, my, um, my hips are bigger and my rib cage is bigger. Some women <laughs> look like their rib cage and their hips don't grow at all. Um, that's not what happens to me. And so I have my measurements from my first pregnancy. Um, well, my first postpartum time starting at six weeks postpartum. So that'll be really helpful to see kind of where I am. And I took them nine months postpartum and that's when I got pregnant with Delilah. So <sighs> that'll be, um, for me, measurements more than this, more than weight is something that helps me gauge um, growth or whatever. And I don't know, I just, I like doing it. Okay, so we went to the doctor at 28 weeks. I had my glucose test. I haven't gotten the results back yet. I think I get them on Monday. Um, and I had my ultrasound to find out if my placenta moved. It did, so that's great. And it was a little bit annoying because Ben and I went in there and she was like, she like took a bunch of measurements, didn't say a word to us. And then she was like, that's her face. And we saw her face and we were like, oh, that's so cute. And then she moved like the ultrasound lady moved to a, like a weird position and was like, oh, there, I'll take this picture. And she marked that as her face. And it's not, it doesn't look like anything. And so I don't know. I would rather have the picture of the face, the first one. But anyway, she gave us some pictures. Um, they don't really look like anything to me. But we did get to see her face and get to see some different things. And so the whole time we're sitting there like, is she gonna like, what's going on? Is she gonna tell us? Because I have no idea what my placenta looks like on an ultrasound. And she gets done and she's like, okay, we'll go sit back in the waiting room and wait for the doctor. And I was like, well, wait, has my placenta moved? And she's like, oh yeah, it's great. Like it was no big deal. Like this whole time we've been waiting to find out like eight weeks. Anyway, it's fine. Um, she, she was fine. She just, she didn't understand. I guess that maybe that was kind of the whole, we were really nervous about that. Not really nervous, but anyway, 
So everything looks great. Um, she's measuring right now. Well, a week ago, she was measuring um, two pounds and 11 ounces, which is like the 33rd percentile. The doctor said that's really good. He said you don't want to be too big or too small and everything looks good right now. Um, Joshua was seven pounds, 13 ounces when he was born. So I asked if he felt like Delilah would be bigger or smaller. He said, sometimes you can guess that each baby, each next baby will be about a half pound bigger, but he said, boys and girls are totally different. You have no idea. So I don't know if I'm going to get another ultrasound with Joshua. The last ultrasound I ever got was at 20 weeks. So maybe if they're concerned about size or maybe, I don't know. It seems like things are kind of random sometimes. Anyway, and I know every practice does everything differently. So that is how the doctor's appointment went. It, everything looks great. I measure, I was measuring exactly to the day. She was measuring exactly to the day. So that's all good news. And um, we're gonna be, I can't believe we're gonna be 30 weeks on Saturday. We are 10 weeks away from Delilah's arrival and um, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I am gonna now take you guys and show you some of the stuff we've gotten together for her room and um, yeah, it's crazy. We are currently working on her dresser. This is the mirror and this is the dresser. The drawers are already upstairs. So we're gonna get that moved upstairs to her room tonight, I think. Okay, welcome to the pre-nursery tour. This is what the room looks like now and then y'all are gonna see it like transformed. So if you've watched my home video, you've seen it. This is, that's Joshua's room. It's a mess. Um, it's the room right across. So I'm going to show you guys. This is what we are currently looking at. Right now the room is gray, which was fine for a guest room, but we're going to be painting it. So, um, let me show you guys some of the things we picked up. That's all old stuff. We're getting rid of that. This is one of the things we've picked up. Um, we're going to get a little um, unit here that we can put bins in and books. These are the drawers to that dresser. We have to get the knobs on those tonight. And then I started putting the newborn clothes in the first dresser. So, so far this is like onesies, pants, one piece, socks, hats, sleepers. And then another thing we picked up is this adorable basket that'll be for toys or books or whatever. You can never have too many baskets. And then these swaddles are also kind of part of the room. And then, okay, so we're getting rid of this bed. Up here is going to be this really pretty canvas um, my mom painted, a flamingo. This is a present we've got, we got for her at Hobby Lobby. This is a toy because Joshua's is broken because he hits things with it. And then Joshua picked this out for her. He would not let it go at Target. So this is going to be his gift he brings to the hospital for her. Um, we have a bunch more stuff in that box because, y'all, um, we thought we were moving. We thought that was gonna happen. And uh, as far as we understand right now, it's, it's not happening. So that's fine. I just feel like I'll be 30 weeks on Saturday. I wanna get stuff ready for her. I wanna make, um, like I haven't gotten to do any nesting. I haven't gotten to do anything because we, we all, the whole pregnancy thought we were gonna be moving. So, our house is still on the market, if you know anyone. 
but we're just taking it really easy um we the market has been slow here um i know everybody's city is weird but the city we live in is a weird place to sell a house so um we're just gonna start getting her room ready so another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some window treatments basically we're just gonna get curtains guys window treatments made it sound serious <laughs> we're gonna get some window treatments i still have to get her um sorry there that's better still have to get her a hamper still have to order the crib um and the crib mattress so i'll probably order that like next week or the week after that along with the unit the unit we got for joshua we got from wayfair for like a really good price so we'll probably just do the same thing for now and um i kind of want ben to make the closet really nice i don't know if you guys watch tara henderson's vlogs but she did an amazing well her husband and her did an amazing job in their baby's nursery closet like making it really cool and organized i will link the pinterest pin um, in the description so you guys can go check out that closet organization um, tips and stuff and then another thing before I head out I wanted to add is um, I'm going to be doing a postpartum haul so if you guys have anything you think I need to add into that please leave it in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram um, I'm gonna cover leggings I'm going to cover uh, toiletry items. So just if you have any ideas, if there's anything you want to know about, if there's anything you want me to try out, write it in the comments. I'll be happy to do it. And that video is going to be coming soon. Not super soon, but definitely in the next, you know, couple weeks. So that'll be coming really soon and we're going to have, I mean, we just have so much fun stuff happening because we're getting her room ready. So I will continue to update you guys on the, on the progress. Um, and then hopefully I'll do a whole video on the nursery reveal and link all of the things that we found so far, um, for her. I'm so excited. You guys doing a girl's room is going to be so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and keeping up with our journey. The third trimester, it's going to be rough, but we've got to kick it into gear. We've got to do our workouts and we've got to get this room done. And when I say we, I'm talking about myself. Um, but <laughs> thank you guys so much please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from this channel what you want to see from my postpartum haul video and um, I'll see you guys in the next one I'll see you real soon